We are learning new details this noon about a woman now suing former Spurs guard Josh Primo and the Spurs as well. This morning, we heard directly from the psychologist who has accused Primo of exposing himself to her several times. RJ Marquez in Houston, he is covering the press conference and he joins us now with more details from this woman very close to Primo. Yeah, that's right, Ursula and Jonathan. A lot of details that were released today during this press conference. And here is the lawsuit that was filed this morning in Bear County, a 12-page lawsuit that names Hillary Cawthon, Dr. Cawthon, as the plaintiff and Joshua Primo and the Spurs as defendants. And basically, again, details every accusation that she's had, a full timeline of what she said were indecent exposure, several instances of that, and how the team responded to these claims. Now, Cawthon spoke today for the first time in Houston. This is where we're at this morning where she's being represented by attorney Tony Busby. The lawsuit states the Spurs hired Cawthon as a sports psychologist in September of 2021, and Primo first exposed himself to her in December of that year during a private session. She claims she reported it to the Spurs and requested a meeting with general manager Brian Wright in January, but the lawsuit claims the Spurs delayed the meeting and she didn't meet with Wright until March. And despite that, she claims nothing was done and she was asked to continue meeting with Josh Primo. By June, she said it was apparent nothing would be done despite promises by the organization that they would take action. Her contract was then not renewed in August this past year. Here's what she had to say about losing her job. I was honored and grateful to even have the opportunity to be embedded in the team. It's very rare to have someone that has the chance to build something with an organization. And I chose to build something with people that I trusted. And I feel like more importantly, I've lost the impact to help other individuals in that organization. It was taken away from them. And I'm, I'm really, I lost my job, you know, um, it's really hard. All right, a very emotional Dr. Hillary Cawthon there speaking to the media this morning. Now, Tony Busby, again, her attorney, also noted there would be a criminal complaint filed in Bear County against Primo and says that he is already in contact with the district attorney's office and expects charges to be filed. Now, back out here live in Houston, the lawsuit right here only mentioned Spurs head coach Greg Popovich once. That was a sort of a big question coming, of, uh, coming out of all of this. Now, Dr. Cawthon said that she was told by Spurs officials that Greg Popovich was made aware, but by then that there was no action that was going to be taken against Josh Primo. And she said that Pop was made aware in June. That's the latest from here. Now, we also want to update you on some new information that just came to us. This is from Josh Primo's attorney, William Briggs, out of the L.A. area. We reached out to him, and he is saying right now, according to multiple media reports, that the accusations against his client, Josh Primo, are false and that he is being victimized by a former team sports psychologist. So we have more developments there. We have also reached out to the Spurs for comment but have not heard anything on that end. Again, this is a developing story that we will continue to follow throughout the day on air and online at ksat.com. Reporting live in Houston, RJ Marquez, KSAT 12 News.